yo yo. So kind of messed up. I should have pulled my GoPro out, but I didn't. So when I was at work the other, what was it, Monday? Today's Wednesday. Brought my swimming machine to work. Um, one of the guys I work with, Ian, he's been a tech for a long time. He's been a mechanic, a uh, vehicular mechanic for a while. And last time I did springs was like on jacks, like in someone's driveway, because I didn't have all the tools. Like this was a while ago. So you know, obviously I work at Volkswagen, so I can use the lift, I can use you know my tools and stuff. So I brought the car there, had him help me, because I didn't know which way. I haven't done any springs replacement. We don't do like any aftermarket stuff ever. And you know, springs typically don't break. So um, I wanted to see the way that he did it, um, just so I could learn if I ever did need to do a set. Anyway, we wound up, I'll put up a bunch of pictures right here, but the springs are on. We pretty much took the whole, like everything, we took the wheel off and then took the brakes off and then um, the lower control arm, the steering, the, um, the end link, and then pulled the knuckle off the strut and then just dropped the strut out, replaced the spring and then put it all back together. So, I mean, last time I did it, at least with my coilovers, I used the, uh, I don't know, when I took my, my struts out, when I already had springs on, I used the two by four method, and that was pretty good, but, oh yeah, I mean, obviously you had to take the axle out, but this is the way the car sits now. Excuse, she's a bit dirty. This is a nice angle right here, I like that. I should get a picture, but, it's the way she looks on um, the racing line springs. Really digging it. Hopefully getting wheels next week. These brakes are huge, by the way. As you guys can see in that picture. But the wheels are actually kind of growing on me. Like if I had, if I shouldn't have sold my spacers. If I still had my spacers, I would definitely throw them on. And they're really not too, too far off. But it looks good. It looks really good. Really liking the way the car looks now. Whoop. Just, man, I'm in love. Anyway, so here we are. I also, yesterday... So I had the um, 034 upper and lower dog bone and the dog bone mount itself. Brought that to work. Come to find out the, this portion, the dog bone, these two holes right here, they don't fit, the bolts don't fit through here. So I was gonna drill them out and use it, but again, I should've showed you guys. The mount that they use, like from the factory, is actually pretty good. It looks kind of similar to this, but it looks it's just like cast instead of like CNC um, stuff. But it's like, it doesn't seem like there's any real slop in that, it, which is definitely different from the one I had on my manual. That one looked like butt. I mean, this does look better. I'm not gonna pay like 200 something dollars for a new one when the one in here seems fine. The upper and lower insert together, it made a difference enough, which I'll show you here on the draggy. Um, just doing the upper lower insert in the springs, I dropped 0.2 off the eighth mile and zero to 60 and got the 60 foot to under two seconds. It was literally, I think 1.99, so. Few more things we're gonna try and do this week, which I'm probably not gonna have time. I need to align the car, but I'm gonna take all the um, the old studs out here, and these brakes will fit this car. I just don't know if it'll look weird having, you know, drilled in the front and then slotted in the back. I don't know. We'll have to see with the new wheels and and what we think. But there's barely any miles on these, the ECS two piece. But um, we're gonna get the sway bar out of there, that adjustable end link. Sway bar, see your boom, and then all these studs. And then I have a handful of new studs still. There's stuff in here for my subframe, but I have some brand new ones I'll throw in as well if any of them seem like they're chewed up or anything. But I want to get these on. Hopefully, this is the right. I need to ask the guy if these are the right kind for that wheel. But I'm going to eat these off real quick. Boom, now they're all off. I really wish I could just toss this whole rear end in right now. I would so love to do that. When I was posting on Instagram, a lot of you guys said, I posted last night about getting a better zero to 60. Um, just taking these arms, oh no, wrong arms. The, um, these trailing arms, and they're adjustable. You can't, oh, the lighting's really bad right now. You can kind of see the adjustment points right there. There's two bolts. These are like anti-lift, anti-squat arms, if you guys don't know. And there's no bushings in this whole rear end, like any real bushings. The only bushings are the ones in the diff. Everything else, well, I guess in the sway bar end links, but even in the knuckles, I replaced those with like metal bushings. There's metal bushings here, metal bushings here. Like they're, everything's just metal. So 
Anyway, these adjustable arms there in the back, they, they're really supposed to help squat and uh, lift during braking, like the rear end lifting. So I think those will help a lot, zero to 60, but I don't know if it's worth the time to disconnect those. I mean, really, it's only like two bolts, but and then tossing them in here, which I guess, no, I got no excuse. I just, I should just take them off and toss them on. We'll see. I think it just might. I need to like take all these knuckles off and get the the bushings pushed out of these to put into the other one and hopefully I really wanted someone to buy this Haldex and the axles but I feel like I might just keep it. Might be able to send it off to get a wave track put in or something but we'll see. But for now we're going to get the sway bar off. <laughs> All right, so I decided to go ahead and take the verling, the verling line. Oh, I was trying to really mix some words here. The verling line trailing arms off. Well, I'm here already. I'm minus as well. It's just two bolts. I'll get that. Now I'm just going to want to throw them in whenever I do the sway bar, but I want to see like how much actually it affects the time. So, we'll get the sway bar and the end links on by itself. We're out loose some pulls and then maybe like a day or a week or so later. Once I get used to the sway bar, then maybe throw this on. Um, this is not really supposed to snow here, so that's not something I need to really worry about. But still, I don't want to, per se, really I mean, they're coated. I mean, the bearings, I don't think, are really going to get hurt. But I'm sure you got the chance there. Okay, so I got them off. You see really faintly there, it says Verk line on them. There we go. Boom, and you got like different adjustability spots. This is set to max, so I might, I don't know if I should set it to max or not. I need to reread it through the book. But if anything, it'll be a max or in the middle. The first one's stock, so. Um, one thing I do need to get, there's like these little, I forget what they call them now. Shoot, pointing at the wrong place. So there's gonna be like a little loop thing there. I think they call it a P-clamp for the brake line. So I need to get new P-clamps and uh, this one's probably gonna need drilled out. So gotta handle that, but otherwise, like there's just, there's solid bushings in here, up top, solid bushings here. That's how like everything in this is. So just, you can imagine, it's, it's lighter weight, it's, it's more stiff, it's got the track bar, or is it? Oh, you can't see that. It's like the track bar edition. The drag version of this doesn't have that. It's just like an edition you can have, but I cannot wait to get this back in this car. Get some real miles on it. This stuff's barely got any miles on it. It's like brand new shit. It's a little dusty. No, the sway bar itself, that's got some miles on it, but even the, the end links aren't that old either. But, uh, yeah, we're looking out. Oh, yeah. You can really see my stain here. <laughs> um, yeah, we're looking out. I don't know when, but hopefully soon, maybe even in this video, we'll get this sway bar attacked. All right, we are back for part two of this video. It's been two days, now I'm back home. It's Friday night and we leave for Minnesota in the morning. So I got a lot of work to do. I wanna get these front end links on, rear end links and sway bar and wheel studs. And then um, you guys will have another video. I guess you probably might have already saw it this week. I don't know, cause I'm planning videos in advance while I'm on vacation, but we got the, can't show my address. We got the EQT grounding kit to go on. So that'll be one of the first like real, like kind of cool mods to toss something new, like new, new to throw on the car. Um, cleaning things up, less things to break. I guess officially voiding my warranty with that, maybe. But, but uh, yeah, let's get these uh, suspension mods done. It'll probably be a week or two or three till we get the, the arms on, but um, We'll just see what this sway bar and end links do. Also, I think that's it for now. Let's get to work. Not using the garage tonight. Didn't want to move the M out. What's up? Say hi. Oh, now you're all nervous, huh? No. Let's see that belly. Aww. Come on. Forever. <laughs> Kaylin. Mm. Look at it. Where? So, we're in here. This is about how much preload I wounded, wounded, wound up with, and they're in there. Now I'm just going to tighten down the lock nuts, and we're good to go. Now I get to move on to the rear, do studs, pull out the old sway bar, old end links, and uh, 
Do it all over again. Okay, Google. Pause. All right, kind of skipping ahead here. Stop for dinner, you know, this, that, the third. Studs are on. Not sure how I feel about them on the stock wheels. Um, it is what it is. And it won't be here much longer. Get up in here. You got the end links. You got the sway bar back there. Can I get a good shot? Boom, boom. We got a really nice picture angle like this too earlier. Um, you can see up in there, boom, over 34. Everything fits like it should. Um, I've had a few too many beers, so she's gonna drive it. Oh man, my car is filthy. She's gonna drive it. We're gonna go get Krispy Kreme and uh, make sure my wheels don't fall off or anything. Let you guys know how she feels in the car. I feel bad. I was kind of all over the place in this video, guys. Um, I should have recorded a little bit more when I was doing the springs and the dog bone mount. And I didn't record any of the actual maintenance because I've already made videos on the sway bars and end links. I didn't want to keep going over that shit. But I didn't get to drive the car yet. She drove it. Feels good in the passenger seat. It always does. Can't say much. But we'll make a video dedicated on what I think about the end links and the sway bar in the following week of this video. And uh, we'll go back and do 68th mile, 60 foot time. See if the sway bar or end links helped at all. Um, even deeper and then I ordered a filter for my race line intake. I have the, the foam one in there now I ordered the paper one and we're gonna make that intake fit and then we'll do a video on that as well um, All types of things little things planned. Uh, there's nothing real big I can do with the car because there's just like not really anything out But appreciate you guys watching commenting liking um, Things are looking good. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys too much with that uh that video that I'm actually about to go make. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Get your info up.